and let the madness begin. Earlier tonight, the field of 68 for the NCAA men's basketball tournament was announced and two local teams are headed to the dance. Leslie Van Arstall joins us now. Hi, Leslie. Hey there, Joe. Yes, Temple and Villanova headed to the big dance. Not a surprise that the Wildcats are in after winning their third straight Big East championship last night. <laughs> Wildcats are the sixth seed in the South region. They will take on the 11th seed St. Mary's Thursday in Hartford. St. Mary's beat number one ranked Gonzaga to win the West Coast Conference Championship. They're a very good team. I mean, yeah, they're a very good team. They've always been good in, in the past few years. So we just, have, we just know that uh, the coach is going to get us ready and uh, we have to play them. You know, it's special, you know. Uh, last chance to be together this team. Last chance to be to go to the tournament. Uh, it's a real special, special chance for me. And a sigh of relief over at Temple. They were on the bubble after losing Friday night to Wichita State in the American Conference quarterfinals. They're in the dance, but the selection committee did them no favor as the Owls are the 11th seed in the East, but they're going to have to travel to Dayton to face Belmont in the play-in game Tuesday night. Just happy to be in the tournament, happy for Coach Dunf that he can go out uh, in the tournament and excited about our matchup, so ready to play. That means a lot. Uh, the past two years have been rough. Uh, we weren't even on the bubble for those, so I mean, for us to get in this year, I mean, it really means a lot. Um, NCAA tournament, NCAA tournament, whether you're in the plan or you're an automatic bid, like, it doesn't matter. It's still basketball, so uh, we're just uh, excited to be in. Well, coming up tonight in the Sports Zone over on CBS 3, I will go one-on-one -on -one with Coach Jay Wright and Fran Dumphy. I love this time of year, Joe. Look